doing some testing with a Freightliner today. Got these snazzy new fenders on yesterday, stainless. And installed the Kingpin on the Gooseneck trailer. It's rated for 30,000. Um, gonna do some experimenting with tongue weight. I want to see if by adding more beef to the upper deck and being able to put a full car up there, if that adds to my axle weight and the overall trailer weight because I'm limited, of course, to what the trailer can hold, but I'm not sure if by putting a car up there, if that adds back to the axles or if that is all considered tongue weight. So stick around, gonna do some testing here and uh, gonna weigh the trailer empty just like this on these scales. Um, you're gonna weigh just the wheels basically, see what the trailer weight is now with nothing on it. And then I'm going to set a car up top because we had a forklift for the weekend capable of lifting vehicles. And then I'm gonna measure again and see how much weight is on the wheels and go from there. Stay tuned. Okay, so after a couple trips to the truck stop scales, we've got our numbers. Axle weight of the trailer, empty, 8,260 pounds. We loaded the car up top and it weighs, according to Google, curb weight is 2,551 pounds. And with that on the upper deck, my axle weight was 8,720 pounds. I'm sure they go to the nearest 10, um, but either way, that means that is 460 pounds transferred back to the axles from the upper deck, and that is 18%. So the car is loaded backwards, as you can see, if for whatever reason I had to load it backwards, it would only add 18%. If I have to add it forwards, I'm guessing that's even less of a percentage. So now I know how to build my deck going forward. 